Hey, Cross Point family. Just wanted to take an opportunity to just kind of let you know some things that are going to be taking place the next couple of weeks. As you know, we're just trying to comply with uh, what has been requested from our state government, local leaders, local officials. So, But we want to let you know that ministry is still advancing, still happening. Nothing has stopped. It just looks a little different. And so in the next couple of weeks, just a, a couple of things to, to let you know uh, that hopefully is informational. Uh, for the next two uh, Sundays, we are going to be uh, live streaming to you uh, through our Facebook page, but also uh, through a new YouTube account that's been set up. And you'll receive those links and you'll be able to go at 1015 and worship with your family. And so I would encourage you uh, to do that. I mean, just take time to pray together, uh, to uh, worship together. Uh, Pastor Allen is going to be uh, having some songs and, and be able to help you do that. But then also uh, just to, to look into his word and be encouraged and challenged and hopefully have some conversations as a family uh, uh, following the time. So uh, just uh, want to let you know that uh, we are making some adjustments around the office uh, we ask that uh, pretty much unless it's an emergency or you need to come get something, uh, that we're just kind of uh, keeping the, the facilities closed. Uh, Tracy and Katrina are going to be uh, working, alternating uh, between uh, the facilities and at home, doing some remote work. And uh, so, but they're, they're accessible. Uh, we have the ability to forward our, our line. So if you call, you're, you'll get an answer and be able to get uh, the information that you need. Also, our uh, deacons are going to be uh, making sure that, that uh, they're connecting and staying in touch with each family. And uh, so I'm so thankful for, for them and for their calling and for the opportunity that we have to serve together. And so uh, if you have any needs or anything specific, please reach out to your deacon or you can call myself or Pastor Allen uh, or any of our elders uh, Brother Jimmy and, and the others that uh, will help you and, and get you what you need uh, as soon as we can. Uh, I will say a couple things. Uh, one is I know that uh, uh, our uh, youth and children's ministry is going to be communicating and sending some things out that hopefully be helpful to our kids and encouraging them through this time, but also maybe some activities that y'all can do as a, as a family. Uh, and then uh, also that uh, uh, going to be working with our our. Uh, Cross Point groups leaders and give them some ideas and options of how uh, how we can even do group uh, through uh, uh, through technology. That uh, if the groups want to get together and pray and study the word, hey, uh, it's great. I mean, you know, we are in a, a technology a technology time and uh, with computers and and most everybody have phones and so with apps and free resources, we can do that. I also encourage you. One of the resources the church makes available to each of you is right now media and wow just so many great resources and some study uh, guides and things that you can utilize uh, if you have some downtime and you're looking for something to just uh, maybe grow your soul a little bit then i encourage you to utilize right now uh, media and uh, and tap into some of those resources uh, made available through that uh, i will say that um you know, for, for pastoral ministry, it is going to look different for a few weeks. Uh, we're, we can't uh, visit hospitals. We, we can't make uh, uh, visits to any of our assisted living. Uh, and that's not on us. That's just uh, the rules that have been made uh, from uh, the hospital or, or different homes. And that's just protecting the patients uh, that are there. So just want to let you know that, that, hey, we're going to pray. We're going to, we're going to email. We'll call. Uh, we'll do whatever we can to make sure the touches are, are made, but we can't make personal touches right now. Uh, there's some places that they're not even letting immediate family members come in uh, based on uh, the situation and circumstances of the patient. So so just know that, that, hey, we will make sure that, that needs or meals need to be done, that kind of stuff. We'll try our best to, to do that. But as far as personal visits during this season, uh, we won't be able to do that. Uh, be looking for opportunities, again, through uh, Bible study opportunities of your groups or through our uh, Sunday messages and, and some other devotional things that we're going to do uh, throughout the next couple weeks that hopefully will be challenging because, hey, we just came out of the series Advance the Church, and who would have known? Who would have known? I mean, 
when we talk about prayer and leadership, and we talk about the strong church who's serving and sharing and sending and starting, I mean, who would have known what opportunities could be right here at our doorstep? So be looking, be looking, be attentive to what God may be saying to you right there in your own neighborhood or to your own family during this season. So uh, again, we love you. Uh, we're definitely uh, uh, elbow to elbow, kneecap to kneecap together, and just looking forward to what God's going to do during this season. So uh, uh, you're going to get an email uh, with this information, but then you'll also have all of our contact, and we look forward to how we can be the church outside the walls for a couple of weeks. So God bless you, and uh, be praying for you.